countenance. So man was a prophecy inside God. God saw this man, and he said, let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and so forth and so on. Well, I want to tell you something. The creatures that are full of eyes within and without, that circle the throne of God constantly, and they search God. They search Him for mysteries, hidden things. And notice this. They, whatever they see in the angelic world, whatever they can find from God in His holiness, it's automatically transmitted to all the other angels and all the other in the kingdom. That's why they're full of eyes within and without. They're, they're the leaders. They're the closest angelic beings to God's person that exists. So they're searching him, and they translate everything they see to the other angels around. And so they, 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 they do this. And notice there's four faces on these creatures. There's the ox, or the New Testament says a calf. So you have a lion, you have a calf, you have a man, and you have a flying eagle. But notice this. No angel ever said in the protest of Psalm 8. Yes, Psalm 8 was a protest an angel made in a courtroom in heaven. Because you know this because Hebrews 2 quotes Psalm 8 and said it was a certain angel who said this. But notice no angel ever said, O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name. And David picked it up in the, in the prophetic, him being a prophet. He didn't say, no angel ever said, O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy authority in all the earth. Who set your glory above the heavens and then say something like this. What is an ox? They never said it. And then they never said, what is, a, what, what is a flying eagle? They never said it. They knew what an ox was. They knew what a flying eagle was. They never said, what is a lion? But they questioned one thing. He said, what is a man? We see this face. We don't even know what it is. And man became the mystery hidden in God. And man became Something that God himself was going to take the form of. Man became God, was going to be God's family of God reproducing himself in the earth. So he would have a family that would, could respond to him and talk to him on his own level. And that he would have a family that him being the father would be the only thing higher than this family. And he could provide every need for them. And they said, what is this man? And that angel which I believe was Lucifer. He, there's only one angel would have earnestly protested over a man. And David picked up on the courtroom scene. He said, what is this man that you're mindful of him, that you've got him in your mind? Or the son of man, his children, that you would go visit his children. You come to every birth they have. You bring a spark of life into, their, into the wombs of everyone. They, every time they have a child, you visit their children. What is this creature You've never done this to an angel. I didn't know there was a spot open between me and you, God. I might have wanted the spot. And he couldn't get over this man. But he didn't realize that this man was a mystery hidden in the glory. And that a man was going to be named as a king. And that's why he's the king of kings. And so man was going to be named a king. What does a king mean? How, what does that mean? Well, a kingdom is a king having a domain. But what else would it mean to you and I in this time? It would mean, my brother and sister, this. It would mean, the Bible says, it is the glory of God to conceal a matter. But it is the honor of a king to search that matter out. So this, this man was going to be a a king under God's kingdom that, and a man who could enter the glory and search out the mysteries. And an angel couldn't do that. They draw back every time they see something. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. And the greatest revelation an angel could understand was that he was, he is, and he is to come. Hallelujah. But a man can walk in the glory and lift up every little mystery and look at it and set it back down. And have the capacity in his spirit or her spirit to understand what they're looking at.
because man can live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. God utters a prophetic picture and releases it in a word, and a man is one word behind God taking every one of those and putting them in his heart. An angel can't, don't have the capacity for that. They have to be told by the four creatures around what, what the mysteries they're seeing. Those eyes represent every eye of every angel in existence. Hallelujah. And those that are fallen can't even see that. Now, you know, when Jesus was on the cross and he said, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, everybody around said he calls for Elijah. They can't understand prophetic words. They just said whatever it sounded like. So man was a prophecy. Man was a prophetic word God gave in Genesis 1, 26 through 28. Notice, and those four faces. Now we've discussed that. Now watch this. Now, the earth became upside down. The war of heaven was all to keep the prophetic word released by God in Genesis 1, 26 through 28 from coming to pass. The enemy destroyed everything in the earth just to keep that from happening. You think about that. He saw that man was coming. He had found in the revelation because Lucifer was the archangel that would take, walk up and down in the stones of fire. He would take the word uh, that he would find in there, lift himself up to the center of the earth, begin to sing prophetically, and he would release the word and it would hit those metal crystalline plates go all the way around the earth and it would start establishing the environment of a man that was coming cities fruitful places everything was happening all for the home of God's family it filled him with violence and over the creation of the man that he wants to be so he wants to be a man the closest he will ever come is the beast and when you see men rising up in tyranny and you see men like Hitler and, and Mussolini and, and you see a stalling and all these people just rising up like that, trying to dominate the people around them, all you're seeing is Satan trying to become a man. That's all that's happening. He's trying to become a man. He wants to be a man because he understands the position of one. The eighth Psalm tells you the position the man was created to live in. Hallelujah. 